Yes, we do. We're going to tell you about that in just a minute. But also, as Joe was mentioning, please do support our Jags. Football team is great. And also the basketball team, They we watched them beat Detroit a couple of weekends ago. And tonight they have a game at the Mitchell Center. They're playing William Carey at 7.05. So support our local teams. Speaking of something you can do local, Mobile International Festival is this Saturday. And Gorka and Esther are here this morning. You're making something that's famous in Nepal. That's correct. We have a Nepalese uh, n chow mein. Okay, now how does this differ from your traditional chow mein that we always hear about here in the U.S.? Well, it's different than the Chinese chow mein. I like to compare more to an Italian dish. Um, <clears throat> It doesn't have all the sauces that okay. the Chinese use. So this one has uh, just uh, the vegetables and some seasoning and the chicken. So it doesn't have the, you know, that sweet sauce the, of the typical Chinese chow mein. You know, Nepal being right next to China and India has a lot of the influence, but of course it has its own flavor. Yeah, you have to put your own spin on it. That's so right. So where do we need to start? Um, well, I guess uh, boiling the spaghetti. Okay. And it looks like you guys already have the noodles ready. So yes. what yes. are we going to put over here in the pan? Well, we're just going to show you the process. We're going to uh, saute the, the ginger garlic paste we have here and show you the procedure and the order the the ingredients will go in. Okay. It's a five-minute uh, dish, so it's really quick. What temperature do we need to put the, uh, um, the stove top on? We can go ahead and start that for you guys. Uh, yes, uh, we probably can go like uh, uh, eight to a nine. Okay, so pretty high heat. Yeah. And then you guys can go ahead and get started. Okay. So what goes in first? Uh, what's going to go in is the cooking oil. Uh, you can use just a vegetable base one or you can use olive oil if you want. Okay. Whatever you prefer. Right, right, yes. And we let that warm up. And then once that's nice and hot, uh, we probably can go high to begin with until the pan is nice and hot. We're going to add the, the ginger. Okay. And we have some cumin seeds. So we're going to roast that first. Okay. So while we're putting the ginger and the seeds in, let's talk about Mobile International Festival. Yes. This is the 30th anniversary. Yes, it is. So what are we doing? We know it's going to be bigger and better than ever. Well, yes, it is. We have uh, always uh, new additions to the festival. And the 30 years, our theme is roots. It's all about family. Okay, so explain yes. that theme. It's about you guys going back to your roots? Uh, well, it's about the roots of people of uh, this country and Mobile, actually. Okay, so and from different countries to here yes, and here to different countries. Most of us have a European ancestry here, so it's time to look at your roots, and you're going to see, you know, that the mobilians have roots all over the world. That is true, and yes. when you go, you get to sample food from four corners of the world. You yes. guys have unique, you guys have food that's unique to 30 different countries. That is correct. Oh my gosh, so we'll have things like this. What uh, else will we have? Well, we have sweets. I represent Brazil, so I always do my uh, cayenne pepper chocolate. That's very Ooh, popular. Yeah. And some uh, typical um, Brazilian sweets, chocolates, of course, and Brazil nuts, cashew nuts, things like that. Yeah. And you brought some of the cayenne pepper chocolate last year. Yes, I did. I this year, no, I did not. It was very tasty. Well, you can get some at the International yes, Festival of course. this yeah. Saturday, 10 to 5, at the Mobile Civic Center. There's also going to be lots of entertainment, too. That's correct. We're going to have a Nepali singer this year. Oh, very nice. Yes. There are going to be dancers, drummers. Oh, yes. Have some new ones and some of the popular ones like the Kenyan acrobats. It's always a treat to see them every year. Gonna and the lot. drummers from Japan. Uh-huh. Yes. And you guys have three different stages, so plenty of places to see everything. That is correct. All right, so here again, we are making this uh, Nepali ch chow mein, if I can yes. get my words right. There's a lot of smoke here. <laughs> it just kind of yes. startled me. <laughs> but that's what it's supposed to do, right? That's right. We're cooking. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to live in the smoke for a little bit. You can get this recipe on Fox10TV.com. Wow, what an effect, right? It's on our <laughs> Studio 10 page. Also, all the information about the Mobile International Festival. Going to get these onions going, and then we'll start adding even more ingredients when we come back. I really smell that ginger. It smells that wonderful. Smells good. That's the ginger garlic you're smelling right now. Ooh. Yeah. We're adding some uh, chopped chicken right now. We're going to saute that for a minute. And oh, man. It smells good, doesn't it, Joe? Yeah. Then
All right, we are back in our Studio 10 kitchen with Gorka and Esther working on something delicious. Tell the folks what we're making this morning. Well, we were making a Nepali chow mein. Nepali chow mein. And so far, what do we say we have in here? Ginger, onions, chicken, is that pretty much it? Yeah, that is it so far. Now we're going to proceed to add the carrots and the cabbage. Okay. Now, you mentioned you're from Brazil. You're getting excited for that big World Cup coming up? Oh, yes. Yes, I am. It's going to be a big event. Yes. That is going to be amazing. And if you're not a big soccer fan, I will let you know the United States has qualified for the World Cup as well. So you can yes. see the USA there hosted in Brazil. Going to be fantastic. Hey, all right. So we added the carrots to that. And what do we have here? Uh, some uh, uh, cabbage. All right. And this dish, you kind of, how did you describe it before? It's kind of a different version of a, kind of well, Italian spaghetti-ish kind of? Well, a lot of people are familiar with the Chinese chow mein. Chinese chow mein. Right. And uh, this is uh, different. I compare more to an Italian spaghetti dish. Right. It's, it's not, you know, it's not the marinara sauce and the beef. Right, but that it, is correct. But you do use the noodles and you have the chicken and it looks... Fantastic. Now, yeah. we're talking about the big Mobile International Festival that's coming up this weekend. We'll touch on that in just a little bit. But one of the big things happening internationally, of course, was that major devastating typhoon that ripped through the Philippines. And the International Festival is teaming up with the restaurant to do something special. Tell us about that. That is correct. Uh, same day as the festival, November 23rd. Uh, after the festival, the festival is 10 to 5, mm -hmm. 7 o'clock, we'll have a benefit dinner at the Yakatmandu Kitchen. Mm -hmm. We will have a Nepali singer, also the ambassador of Nepal will be there. And this event is uh, with the International, uh, International, Mobile International Festival mm -hmm. and the Yakatmandu Kitchen. And if this was something that happened here in the United States, it would be on your news feed every second of every day. Because it's over there in the Philippines, we're, we're hearing about it a lot, but not as much as we possibly could have. Those people over there need so much help, so much devastation yes, in that area. It is, it is. So that would be fantastic if you could come on out and support the yes. event this and weekend. And if you want to just do a donation, we will have a collection box in the Nepal booth, in the Philippine booth, mm -hmm. and the, the International Festival. So if you want to write a check, our checks is uh, made to the Mobile International Festival. All right, so you can do that right at the Mobile International Festival, which is this Saturday from 10 to 5 at the Mobile Civic Center. There you see, you can get tickets online or just show up at the Civic Center box office. We hope you do that this Saturday. Going to be a lot of fun, lots of different cultures, food, cuisine, music, everything to experience. So we're almost done with this dish. We'll come yes. back and plate it up and finish it up when we come back in just a little while, guys. Okay. Things are hot in the kitchen this morning with Esther and Gorka from the Mobile International Festival. By the way, that's happening this Saturday in downtown Mobile at the Civic Center. I'm going to tell you about that, but one of the great things about this festival, you can sample so many different types of foods from so many different countries, and this is a good example of what we're doing today. Tell everybody about it. Yes, yeah, so this is our Nepali chow mein. We have added our vegetables, and now we're just going to put the finishing touches with some of the liquid items here. Uh, soy sauce, some chili sauce, mm. and uh, some a dash of ketchup, believe it or not. Oh, a little uh, sweetness. Yes, just a little. And then salt and pepper to taste. Here we're going to have to use uh, uh, black pepper. Okay. In Nepal they use something called Timur, which is a Himalayan little pepper. How does that, it how has, does the taste difference? Well, it's completely different. There is nothing I can compare to. Huh. Uh, but the substitution here will be black pepper. Okay, so here in the U.S., yes. black pepper. Black and pepper, yeah. A little salt. Yes, and um, yeah, and that is about it. This is a great dish. Now Thanksgiving coming up. We did a chicken chow mein. However, you can do shrimp. You can do a vegetarian yeah. version, you can add eggs, you can do anything. So if you have a little a chicken breast left over from last night's dinner, chop that chicken breast, cook fresh spaghetti, voila, you have a fresh dish. Good idea. Yeah, yeah, kind of recycling of... your food a little. Yeah. Producing something want the exact fresh. Same thing. That's correct. Perfect. Yes. Okay, so this is again one example. Mobile International Festival is happening this Saturday from ten to five at the Mobile Civic Center. You can get lots of great food from thirty different countries. And over the break, we were talking about how you pay for the food. Uh, we take tokens. 
or cash. And you get the tokens at the Mobile International that Festival. That is correct. If you if you wish to, but there's for Saturday there's no need to cash. Okay. All right. So yeah. that sounds good. Also, lots of great entertainment. Some drummers, some dancers, yes. three some different donuts. stages. Yes. Thirty years of Mobile International Festival. So there it is. Yes. Mobile Civic Center. You can make your plans to attend. We're letting you know early so you can go ahead and get your weekend plans done. We're gonna let Gorga finish this off, and then we are going to taste it. And I cannot wait. Be sure you log on to fox10tv.com on our Studio 10 page to get the recipe.